In this video, you'll learn how to build a responsive hidden navigation bar and export it as a component to use in your existing repository. This is a hidden navigation bar designed with auto layout applied for responsiveness. In addition, use auto layout space between settings to keep the logo on the left and menu items on the right. Next, let's learn how to hide menu items for smaller screen devices and hide the hamburger menu for desktop. In the Locofy plugin, tag the frame with the menu items as a container. Then head to the Styling and Layout tab and click on the 9 60 pixels tab. Then set the display to hide and finally click on Done. Next, select the hamburger menu and tag it as a button. This is a custom design, so you can select none for the UI library. Then head to the Styling and Layout tab. In the Default tab, set the visibility to hide and in the Tablet tab, set the visibility to show. Next, let's learn how to set up the hamburger menu to toggle the drawer. First, head to the Actions tab and select Toggle Drawer. Then from the drop-down list, select the Drawer menu screen and click on Done. Preview your drawer by clicking on the Preview button to check its responsiveness and functionality. Now that this is working as intended, you can save the designs to Locofy Builder. Click on View Code and View Code in Builder. This is the Locofy Builder. Here you can view the code, create components, as well as add props to them. You can also view the live prototype. To turn your designs into components, select the element and click on Make Component. Then give it a name and click on Create. Now that you have a component, the header Elements row. You can export it by clicking on the Export button. Choose Export Project and select the screens and components. Then click on Confirm Code Export. This is the exported code for the hidden navigation bar design and drawer menu. We see a terminal over here and we see that it is already running locally. So let's have a look. This is the exported component, and you can see that it is responsive, and for smaller screen devices, you see that the menu items are hidden, and the hamburger menu appears. It also triggers the draw menu. Now, let's learn how to add this to an existing repository. On the left, we have our exported component, and to the right, we have the existing code base of a landing page without the navigation bar. You need to copy all the media assets from the exported component to the landing page. Then copy the respective components, including the draw menu and navigation bar. Finally, you'd also have to take care of the styles in the global CSS file of our exported component and the landing page. Over here, you'll see that our navigation bar nicely fits along with the rest of the landing page, and you'll see that it is responsive as well. This is how to build a responsive header navigation bar that shows menu links on desktop and the hamburger menu for smaller screen devices and export it as a component to integrate into your existing code base.